I've got the Easter Bunny on one shoulder and a duck on the other shoulder. So clean up this mess, soldier. <laughs> no, no, don't say that. Nobody's ever told me that. My dad never told me that. He, he made, he didn't. He said it was okay if I didn't join the army. This would, this would be good to um, have the kids to hug and stuff like that. But for some reason, they're, um, she, took, she has them in Texas. So here's the thing. I'm just going to clean this place up. Clean up this mess. Ricky, there's people that talk that way are kind of mean. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I'm looking for the tripod. Here's one, but it's like not as good as the other tripod. I'm going to clean. This place got pretty messy. Look. Look at all the mess that I'm going to clean up. It's not that much because it was really clean before this stuff. I've been saving it to clean up in one video. <laughs> hey. Look, I'm a teenager trying to sound older. I get that. I, I, I feel like my dad thinks that that's how I talk. <laughs> oh no, that's all that's left of him if I'm mean to him. I better, I better be kind to him. Here's my cool tripod. Here's a duck. You can get these on Amazon. I think the top of it's like 30 bucks or something. And the bottom of it's like 10 or 20 bucks or something. 20 bucks or something. So that's pretty good. You can put these like almost anywhere you feel like, I don't know, it's good. The Easter Bunny. Okay, let's clean up the place. Whoops, you just press this button. It's supposed to be easy to film. <clears throat> well, that's my idea. You make it as easy as possible to film as much quality content as you possibly can without wasting time changing cards and doing stuff like that, like with the DSLRs, unless you're making a movie. Unless you're making a movie, nowadays the DSLRs have Bluetooth and you send it right to the computer to edit. And if you edit on a phone, sometimes it's faster. So that's what I did here and there, but it's, it's better to do really high quality editing, but look at how many videos most people did and how the length of the videos are. I have, probably the most hours of content of almost any YouTuber online or any filmmaker. I have 2,000 hours of videos that are not just my random footage of stuff at home that I haven't edited. I may have 10,000 hours of that stuff or 20,000 on hours of stuff on old hard drives. I probably have like 60 hard drives or 55 hard drives um, going back to 2000, the year 2000. And I can still plug them up and see what's on them to go back to old stuff. And I have them saved on newer drives too. And I back it up on cloud and I have my movies distributed, two of them. So they're out there in the world. If anything happened to my stuff, I'd have my content out there or my movies out there. So I have a bunch of good content. And most people, if you look at their videos, they may have 3,500 videos, some of the ones who film the most stuff, but they likely don't own the rights to it. They can't sell it as movies because I'm a filmmaker, so I know how to own the rights to my content, like I own the rights to the songs in my films and videos, or I sometimes I, I have the sounds of nature that I recorded myself, so I own the rights to 90% or 80, 80 well, 98% of my, or 90% of my videos. So that's 2,000 hours of video. I own the rights to 90% of it. It's probably more than 2,000 hours now. So it's probably, so I have like 2,000 hours of content that I own the rights to that I can sell as movies when I edit enough of it. But for now, I have like 400 feature length or 200, about 200 feature length films that can be narrative films like real movies or documentaries or reality TV and stuff like that. So about 200 feature length ones of that stuff. And I'm thinking about putting it, I'm doing something with that, but I don't know. 
And so other filmmakers and, and content creators don't own the rights to their stuff. They show other people's content. They don't own the rights to you. You can put it on YouTube, but it's not like they own the rights to it to sell it as their own thing that they own, stuff that they own. So I'm going to clean this place up. I'd like to be with her and the kids. But that's, so I'm going to clean this place up. Hi, how are you? I'll check the contents. Hi, Eddie. I mean, the, the, uh, the pin to live stream. It says tag products first. And I don't know what that is. That's somebody pretending that, pretending that when you buy new things, it's evil. Somebody thought that with all their heart. And you can make things real if you think it with all your heart. So think good things or else you, <laughs> you'll have to, Suffering and, and the worst of it is that you'll cause suffering for others. The, the, the purpose is to be kind to others For them not not even really you I'm gonna go I gotta clean this place up. I'm gonna wipe the screen off. I'm gonna put this phone down I gotta clean this place up um, So I'm looking for a place where I can put this tripod because it's kind of small I'll put it here I'll put it here in this tree Hey, this is pretty good <laughs> Ah, this is pretty good. I see. Huh. I like to just hide away in some place. I like to just hide away in some place. Oh, Krista just wrote in the line, Borna Posku. She's writing about Easter stuff or something. I'm going to put some um, shorts on. I'll open up the door. I'll open up the door to outside. You can hear the sound. I go to the bathroom. There's nature sounds out there. Hi. Hi. Well, I'd like to be with her and the kids, but she hasn't been interested. So maybe she'll change her mind, but I don't know what's going to happen with that. I've waited for her for another eight years or 12 years or something like that. So I don't know what to do. I was going to move on. You know, cause, but I can't stop loving them. I've loved them every day. It's so difficult because I love them every day. And I miss them, and I've cried about them like 3,000 times or something like that. I've cried about them like 3,000 times. And it's caused me to give up. It was so difficult to try to get them back. But today's a nice day. It's Easter. I'm going to clean this place up. So, I don't know how to get them back. I could try going to Texas, but she said don't go to Texas. So, how am I going to see them at her house if she said I can't go there? You know, but sometimes she says things that she doesn't mean at all. She says, 
things and changes her mind about it. Like she used to say she'd never get back with me again. And that was it and, we're, and, and stuff like that. And then we got back together in 2010. In 2010, we got back together because in 20, 2009, she said she'd never be with me again. And then she ran out of money and her, her mom and dad started bossing her around because they were giving her free money to live. And she didn't know where to go. And um, I hope she's okay. So then she said, okay, I'll be married again. She was with me, but she didn't love me as much as she did, but she loved me and it was, we were still married. We got the love, all the love from God and one another and everything was okay in 2010. It was like back to normal again, everything was okay. But I got tempted by the devil and she got tempted by the devil and the devil messed up things for us. And then she took the kids to Texas again at the end of 2011. And then 2012 was, at the end of 2011 was, but before then it was okay, it was just, so maybe she'll be together or not, but I get the feeling from God here and there to move on, because now it's been 12 years since then, and she hasn't wanted, she hasn't been in love with me, or if she has, she hasn't told me, so that's a weird thing about her, she likes saying things, but then she changed her mind about it. Like she used to say she hated carpet in the house. And she she made me do all this work to refinish the, the hardwood floors and, and have all these hardwood floors in any house we were gonna live in. And she just didn't like carpet. And then, uh, then she just left and chose to have all new carpet in her house. And she liked being like the big one who was in charge of things, kind of. Um, like almost like a David Lee Roth or somebody like that when she was young but David Lee Roth's old man he's getting old you know but back when he was like in his prime like somebody different though but you know but she's pretty good I love her and I think about her and the kids but I don't know if I'm going to get to be with her anymore so I don't know what to do about that It's it's been not easy I like being in love and hugging and with the kids, like normal with her. And then, of course, oh, it was always normal around the kids <coughs> when I was in a regular marriage with her. And then I was really close to the kids. And um, I got to be with her as my wife. And everything was okay. We got all this love from God. And then that was taken away from me about eight years ago. And I got the feeling from God that I've suffered worse than Job in the Bible. And Job was, a, was this guy who had plenty of money. He was married. He had a family. You know, other people want to kill me or something because they have barely have any money. They're like almost like demonic. And it's like crazy as crap. They want to like ruin everything I'm doing because of their problems with money. And, um, uh... I don't understand why. Like just one mention of anything about money, like having enough money or something, they got angry as shit right then. It felt like they'd want to like kill me or something. Like with all their heart. So I don't understand why somebody would do that. It's gonna come right back to them if they do anything like that. It, everything comes back to whoever does it. Every big thing or small detail of everything we do, everything good we do comes back to us. And the bad we do, do, unfortunately, every detail of it has to come back to everyone. There, there are some sins that, you know, will, will come, every sin comes back to everyone. It's not like when sins are forgiven, when Jesus forgave our sins so we could get into heaven. You know, um, all of that has to be paid back. So it's not like he just says, oh, you're forgiven of those bunch of sins that you did here and there throughout your entire life, the small sins that people make a habit of. You can't make a habit out of sin. You have to be changed. You have to be changed from your old ways. So once you start really not sinning and not making a habit of some sins, like I, I've had to stop being angry at people like that. Like somebody was going to, um, like at one mention of money, he has so many problems with money. 
that he wanted to like kill me, put like a rope around me. I got the thought with all, all someone's heart. I got the feeling of any mention of money. He wanted to like take a rope and do this to it, like around my waist and cut my body in half or some shit or do some horrific thing to me just for mentioning money. Like is it because he, somebody else has, I don't know. That's the thought that I got when I mentioned money. But the thing about Job is not that he had a bunch of money, you know, or whatever, you know, it's that his life was good and he had his kids and um, he didn't have any worries and he was a really kind, good man who lived for God. And then Job, um, the devil talked to God and, and God said, the devil said, I think if you took away all his good life, like he has everything, Job had everything, but he was really godly and kind and good and, and, and Jesus-like and kind to others and lived for God. And everything was okay in his life. He had like 10 kids or something like that. And they all were happy and everyone got along. And and that was Job's life. And he, and he didn't have any worries. And he lived for God as much as he could. And he helped others. He was righteous. He was righteous. And then, <laughs> and then um, I had to keep this house in showing condition. If you look back at my videos for two years, you know, I had to live that way. I don't know if you can imagine what it's like to have to clean up that much. And still people acted like, what's wrong with them? Uh, you know, must be crazy or something. So um, they just wanted to feel better about themselves because they thought that they'd like, because I was like, I, you know, anyway. But Job, I don't know why. But um, so Job in the Bible had everything on earth, a good life, and he lived for God and Jesus and helped the poor, and he was really kind, and he had a good social life. That was Job in the Bible. And then he had everything taken away as a test from God to see if he'd still live for God and Jesus. And he did. And he did. He kept living for God and Jesus. And he got sores on his body or hurt his body. But I'm, I'm not the same as Job. My body has been super healthy. That's not my problem. But I had it worse than Job for other problems. Because I had my wife and kids taken away for eight years. And Job only suffered for a few months. A notice showed up on the top of the screen. Um, and so Job only suffered for a few months, and he hoped to die, and he prayed to die. But his fam his his uh, children were killed. All of them died. Um, he had no money, but he still had his wife. He still had his wife there for him through all of it, and. Um, and uh, he, his body was hurt or sick or something like that. And, th and it's, he's different from me. I can't really compare the two, but I know I suffered worse than Job. Um, God let me know I've had to suffer worse than Job. Um, because my, cause he only suffered for a few months and he hoped for death. I've, I've hoped for death. I hope to die 20,000 times, 20,000 times or 8,000, probably 20,000, because sometimes, because just on Memorial Day weekend, I was at so much unrest, I hoped to die 200 times, just on Memorial Day weekend and Memorial Day, I think it was last year, and um, just that weekend was 200 times, so I've hoped to die 20,000 times from the unrest, the constant unrest, doing God's work, and, um, you know, there's no end on that, doing God's work, I, became so difficult that my wife wasn't there for me. I didn't have them to hug in real life. I've had almost no love and touch, you know, no contact or love. And I just wiped my eyes, but I can't do it now. Of course, I've washed my hands first. So this is what I have. Yeah. And, um, and so is, uh, having to wash my hands and not even say, you know, I haven't gotten to hug her or be normal around the kids or hold the baby and be there for the baby and kiss the baby and, and be there for the baby. And, he, and, and, you know, I haven't gotten to do any of that for almost six years. And actually it's been eight years. It's eight years, but I haven't been with any women for five or six years since 2018. And so when I've gone out in public, instead of getting to look my best and feel my best and feel confident and look good and have women notice me or something like that, but then go back to my wife and not be interested in them all or anything and have a normal, regular life and be with my wife and kids. And, you know, instead, 
I had that taken away from me and I've had almost no social life and God made me just be with uh, God and Jesus and, and me. I had to do things for God and Jesus, so I had to learn, oh, you're supposed to love God the most and then Jesus, not your wife and kids the most. I acted like, I used to act like my wife and kids were the best, but after God and Jesus, then you love your husband or wife, depending on if you're a man or a woman. There is no gay marriage that God recognizes. Those are friends. Those are always only be friends. If there are gay people who are with one another in a sexual way, it's sexually immoral and that's not a real marriage and never can be it's not recognized by god but they're friends so um it's not the same as a godly marriage with a woman and a man who god recognizes as a man and woman being married and um you know people who fornicate that's people who fornicate that's bad too that's not recognized as a marriage and there's this guy i'm friends with he gets angry because he likes to have a girlfriend and he, th he gets angry if I say anything like fornicators are bad. He has no idea how much I've suffered not getting to love a woman or be with a woman and hug a woman and her there for me, you know, be, to be in love. It has sucked. It has sucked not having a woman to be in love with me that God let me be with. And I can't just find a random one or God won't recognize them. You know, it's, it's not a real marriage. God won't. It has nothing to do with God recognizing it or not. You don't get the love and the good feeling that God gives you when God helps you to be married to a wife. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's Al Bob. It's Al Bob. I was going to go... <laughs> I was going to go to church, but you don't have to go to church to get into heaven. It's not mentioned anywhere in the Bible that you have to go to church. Many of those people don't make it to heaven. Sometimes they have no idea what they're, what they're preaching about in the Bible. I'm going to see what Al Bob says. God gives us problems. It's a gift. Oh, no. You're not meant. You're treating yourself as a... No, I'm not. Hi. almost afraid to look good because Al Bob sees me and thinks that I'm just trying to look good. <laughs> Al Bob. But I, but I can look good. It's good. It's kind and good. Hi. Hair doesn't look that good right now. I don't know why. Well, but God lets me look good and lets Al Bob look good. Sometimes In some of Al Bob's videos that we filmed, he looked like 38. He looked 38, but with a gray beard. You know, with a gray beard. And, but his face looked young. It was kind of cool. It was amazing. He was able to do that when he was like 68 or 70. Or 70, he's, he, he may be 72. I, I think he's 72 or 73, 72. And so, in some of our videos, he looks young. Like when he shaved. <laughs> I know. Like when he shaved his face and he had like a, when he was a little chubbier. He looked like a young guy, like a, a like a little bit chubby face in his 40s, like 40 something, or and, and um, but he but see you can look I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I was just thinking about for me I I didn't like looking bad. I thought oh the video is ruined if I don't look good. I thought but it's not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. It's been easy for well it's not it hasn't been easy. I, I made habits of cleaning. And then, yeah, but I, I'm going to actually clean up now. This is the first time my house got messy in two years. I think it, I've never had a kitchen like this in my, you know, yeah. In my, oh, see where that person sent a bunch of stuff. This is my kitchen. Church's family for Al Bob. For Al Bob. That's not my wife and kids. But I don't know if I'm married to her. I don't know if I'm supposed to move on and find somebody else or what. Because she hasn't, because so far it hasn't been that way for eight years. But here and there I think that, and then it, I get just totally devastated if I do it wrong. I don't know. But I don't know if I'll get devastated again. It's, at this point, it's like, you know. I think I have to move on from her. So I don't know. I have to be like women. 
they move on quick. They don't dwell at all in, in nature or how God made us because that's how God made us. Um, that when Adam and Eve, when Adam and Eve, when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden before Eve was there, God saw that Adam was alone. And that's why God created woman because a woman because Adam was alone and he was suffering alone. Even though God created him and it was heaven or paradise, you know, he was still suffering alone. And that's how I had to feel without my wife. But I could not get her her to be in love with me. I can't force her to be in love with me. So it it's not her fault. We had sinned. The devil tricked us. So maybe I'm supposed to meet a new wife, but I haven't yet in uh, 20 years of being with Danica. In the past 12 years, I haven't been with anyone. So I've been suffering alone like almost 100% of the time for 12 years. And I don't like being single. I don't like it. You know, if my wife had died like Al Bob's wife, it would be different, but she's not dead. You know, Danica's okay, but I don't know if I'm still married to her or what. But I'm, I think I'm supposed to move on, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I guess I'll just clean. You know, this is something that I, I had the entire house really clean. I don't know. So what's Al Bob saying? <sighs> okay. Let me try to do this. I don't know why my nose kept itching. Like something from outside. Some pollen or who knows what. for now it, it, it's okay for I fixed the plumbing leak it's okay for 10 years I don't know one, one moment I don't know God only knows how long but I fixed the plumbing leak in there but it looks kind of funny it's not like the way you're really supposed to do it because the pipes got old but it works really well it might last 20 years if I leave it like that <laughs> and it finally doesn't leak anymore the pipes kept coming down and they wouldn't tighten and they wouldn't stay up, so I, 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 I propped something under it and pushed the pipes up really hard. Well, no, not, I don't do that, you know. Because when I said really hard, it was like, I don't know. I can't go back to my mom and dad. That feels wrong. God still had me married to Danica the whole time, so I had to suffer for 12 years alone. And I'm still married to her. I'm still married to her now. But she doesn't want to be with me. She thinks we're divorced. Or said we're divorced, but I don't know. Which, how she really is in the privacy of her own home. So I don't know. Why did I keep making my nose itch? Like a little lint or something like that. I don't know what, why it did that. I'm making my nose itch. I don't know why. Okay. Look how messy this is it. I've never had a trash can get that bad, but I, I did it as a funny way to like. I, I did it now. I did it as a funny way to finally not have to suffer having to keep the whole place. Well, but it didn't really work. I suffered anyway. I should wear gloves for it, but I don't care. Bamboo. <laughs> oh. Bamboo. 
Who's the edit? I don't know. I don't know. I was supposed to talk Italian. I was supposed to speak Italian. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to do this here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're trying to do this. No. <laughs> pissed in this neighborhood like they don't want you to they don't want you to have a bunch of money or if you do they don't want you to say anything about like everything's okay or something with no matter how much money you have look where it got out bob is that gonna happen to me or am i gonna have 10 million dollars i can't say to them they're pissed one of them's like really pissed <laughs> La Bamba, man, why are you trying to do this to me? La 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 bamba. La 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 bamba. Corpi sede, corpi sede, bada ya riba ya riba. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Ba la ba la la bamba. Ha bla ba ta da ta da bamba. I don't. That's how my friend would make fun of me if I. Because I'm Italian. I don't. I don't know. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. The killer. The killer from somewhere not in Virginia. I don't know where he is. But he watches us on the map. He watches us and tries to find out how he's going to get him. Unless they go to California and. Oh, he's afraid of it there. Probably, I think there's somebody like that who might want to do something like that to me. God, let me know. I'm not gonna say who he's like, but he's like one this movie star who I thought was who I thought was really funny growing up. One of, one of my favorite movie stars as a kid, and then I found out this guy's bad. There's some there's some guy. God, let me know. And he's not from Roanoke. He's not from around here. So that's good. So at least. The guy who wants to kill me is not from here. He's like, a, he has guns, I think. And God let me know about him, so I don't know if it's true or not. But I know it is. I, I mean, because it could have not been God. But God let me know, you better leave and go to California. Like, I'm supposed to leave and go to California, I don't know when. Even though this house is really good. He's like somebody who thinks I'm a liberal and hates me because of being a, he thinks I'm a liberal. I don't understand why, because I'm not really even a liberal. I believe in God and Jesus. He's like really afraid of California, so he doesn't know his way around California. But if I try to go to any other place in America, he knows it really well. He, he knows it. He knows an it. So I think he's like bad, but I haven't, I haven't been worried about him, but I just happened to think about him right then. <sighs> Somebody doesn't want to see my feet. It makes them feel like their body is hurt if I'm not sitting down. Maybe. Why am I taking my time doing all this? Could have just, oh. I don't know. Nope. 
Put these arms in these little things. may not be able to be this may be a good trash can this may be a good trash can it has a little tear in the bottom of it, it has a little tear in the bottom of it I'm just gonna throw it away so it doesn't get garbage in it I'm cleaning up the kitchen Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you do this one. You know, like this. I'm the clean man. I'm the man who cleans it. I'm a cleaning person. I'm nice. I clean places at night. I'm supposed to. I don't want to do that. It would get me away from it, go to California. I don't want to think about that again. And 30 years ago, I did something bad here. They still remember. They like to pretend that's so how I still was. They creeped up on me living in this part of town. I think I'm just going to leave so I don't have to be around these people because I've suffered for that like way worse than I should. Like I <coughs> like stole crap when I was 16 or something. And it made my face look so ugly and I hobble, hobbled around after that. God punished me for it for a year or two. I was barely able to walk and it sucked. And I looked almost like a, it looked awful. I had, I had braces and zits and I, I could barely walk, I could barely walk. And people thought, what happened to you? And it happened for a year or two. That alone was enough to, I just left to, well, I thought, hey, I'll try a new college. I tried all these different colleges, and I couldn't really find where I liked the best. And, you know, and then, um, so I kept trying different schools, and then I went to California, and I really liked it. I got my braces taken off. I got healthier. I could skateboard and, and jog and stuff, and I felt really confident in California, so I moved there, and... I moved there in 1997, and then by 1999, I met my wife, and everything was okay when I had my wife. I was confident. She gave me confidence. She told me I was the funniest person she ever met. Felt like everything was okay with her and the kids. That's what they do. Okay, you, you did enough. No. And then they... <laughs> Oh, this, you want to see a creepy painting? This is really weird. This is weird. The devil got to it. The devil got to it. My grandmother painted it. It used to be good. <laughs> I never would have broken art, but God told me I had to destroy it right then. But I didn't destroy it. I just had to punch it and break it. I had to break this thing in half on the ground, the frame. Something about the frame. And here's why I did it. It's my grandma's painting. I'm going to put it in a bigger work of art that I paint or something like that or make a work of art out of it. This was a, a woman's asshole. This was a woman's asshole, and that was a line of water, something like it dripping down like somebody wanted to have sex with it. This is her vagina. This is some evil creature with his, his face right here. 
and his butt and really it was a demon doing it making making someone think it was like a vagina and a butt and there's some other butt things hanging down from it its foot and um it was coming out of like some demon creepy creature's butt and this is and it was facing the, towards danica's house and this is supposed to be me going towards danica's house this was her head going that way and then i realized that that was i didn't know when i broke it i realized this after i broke it I didn't know why, but God told me to break it right then. And I had to punch through, I had to punch through. I didn't even know where I was punching. It happened to punch right through that thing where the water's dripping out of somebody's asshole woman's butt. Like they, they make you want to like do, and I had that 66, like route 66 and, um, route 66 and all this weird stuff in it. And, um, and that creepy creature like with a weird face and his butt and 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 he was the one doing it like a demon or something like that and that was a vagina that was the butt and trying to pretend like it was some woman and then i had to go that way and get away from it this this symbolized this house and this was like to get away from it and go to texas and then i realized after i broke it who cares if i'm scared or not and i literally made a video of a yellow shirt saying i'm scared i don't know and um you know, however God wants me to be. And, it was, and, they, and the demon tried to say it would be scared to go to my wife. And the only thing that was white and holy was this guy pointing to go back to my mom and dad because you didn't get to have your wife anymore when I got to be confident or something like that. And my grandmother no one painted it, but she didn't mean to be bad about it. She painted it when she was like 99. <laughs> and um, because I suffered her like, I suffered... It's not her fault. She might make it right to heaven. This is the only bad thing I've ever seen of her. But she's wait. She's awaiting judgment. She has to be judged. She wasn't so good that she made it right to heaven. Her husband made it right to heaven. He came to me from heaven was was without sin. It was really beautiful. He was without sin. He suffered the last ten years of her life. She kept him in a bed because <laughs> he was like he was like interested in young women, but he didn't act on it. He wasn't with him in real life. He, didn't, he was never with anyone besides her. Excuse me. And um, and so he he was only with her, and he made it to heaven. He had to suffer for the last 10 years of his life, and she did something to help him get to heaven. She, she didn't keep him in a bed, but he just got old, and he could barely walk, and he didn't have the will to go on anymore, so he just slept all day and most of the night. And he was my grandfather, and he made it to heaven. He, he was the only one who I knew made it to heaven because he was so without sin he was in this really good place he was in this really good place and um and my grandmother i thought for sure would have made it to heaven but she's still awaiting judgment she's sleeping most of us sleep when we die we sleep awaiting judgment day and then we'll be judged and we'll know if we make it to heaven i think she'll make it there she's pretty good but this painting looked really creepy like this demonic not demonic but creepy creature that's supposed to be here and coming out of its its own butt was pretending it was like a woman's butt and a vagina or something and then instead i was supposed to go and see danica and i thought that's the way i'm supposed to go and that was good but then something happened to it and i didn't even see the yellow and god told me to just punch it and i had to break the frame in half for some reason i still don't understand why i had to break the frame in half i'm thinking about it now maybe it was like someone tried to frame me and say that that's how i was and um, I got the feeling from Danica from a thousand miles away in God that I had to punch it and destroy it because this symbolized a woman's ass, a woman's butt. And instead of feces and dirt, how a woman's real butt is, my grandmother painted it with a, um, a drip coming out of it, like a drip of water, like it's supposed to be sexy or something like that. There's nothing bad inside of it. And it was this demon trying to trick, trick me to this creepy creature. And that was that was a creepy creature's butt, and I think she, you know, I think she really painted it that way, and it showed that was a butt, and that was a vagina, and this was a woman's head, and I was supposed to go that way to, um, I was supposed to go that way to, um, Texas and be with my wife, and for some reason, after I broke it, I saw that this was chicken, like as if I was chicken if I went that way, and even if I went that way, it was this creepy little, disgusting tongue looking creepy thing coming out of it, and then this pointing back that way. Because I think my grandmother knew that I had been with some other woman. She's like, oh, I'll punish him for it and make him suffer until he get. And then she, she thought then I'd get into heaven because she didn't like men to do that stuff. <laughs> and so I, God had me punch it in one thing. I had to punch through it somehow. I had to take it down. I, I didn't know. 
I, I knew, I knew I, I was supposed to right then. God made me destroy it. And for some reason I had to break the frame. For some reason, I don't know why I had to break the frame yet, but maybe it's because they're trying to frame me and pretend like that's the way I was supposed to be and the, all the evil stuff. They were trying to pretend that that was me. So maybe that's why. Here's the frame that I broke. I had to break it on the floor so I didn't hurt the house or anything. And so I'm going to keep the painting because she really painted it and put it in some other painting, I think, or just keep it like it is. Maybe I can put it... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can keep it and show it like at least thank God I didn't even know where to punch other than God told me to punch right then and I had to punch and it was right in that evil thing that was shown to a woman's butt with a I don't know. So I'm probably gonna go. I'm probably going to go to California or something like that. I didn't get the chance to make my hair look the best. I don't know why it looks like this. I don't know. And so. Praise Jesus. bad. I'm not going to try to save that one egg. Hi. It was creepy. I got dirty painting. I'm going to try. That's a weird thing to put in a video. I'm glad I showed something like that. It was like something weird to show people. That pain. Because I, I acted like my grandmother's art was stupid. <laughs> like it wasn't that good. And she got angry probably and tried to make Because <laughs> I, I tried to act like my stuff was brilliant and the best work ever. And it'd be the best. I, be, I thought I was the best artist to have ever lived or, or would be it, or was. I thought I was. And, um... I thought I was really good at films, videos, music, and art, and anything creative. I would be the best artist of all time at it, and I worked that hard at it. I thought I had to work harder than everyone or anyone that I knew if I had to be that good at what I did at my work. For God, for God, but really I just did God's work. <clears throat> this is gross. So I felt so excited about being in Los Angeles. I thought if I had to work, I could be a garbage man and be out there in the open day, <laughs> hanging on the back of the trucks and everything. <laughs> hanging on the back of the trucks and everything. I don't know or not. Not everything. Anyway. Mm -hmm. But I was mean to my grandmother, Noni, because. Just a small amount. I wasn't that mean. I was always really kind to her. And um, I acted like uh, her art, she didn't work that hard at it. She had to be a school teacher or something like that. Because she had to teach at one of the public schools. And, and wow, that came back to hurt me really bad. I suffered hoping to die maybe 2,000 times. Cause, or 1,000 times. Or 800 times. Or 1,000. About 1,000 times. Uh because I had to do hard work and hard labor for 20 years, most of the labor myself, and 
hiring men to do the other work too. So I did like 55, 53% of the labor myself for 20 years and actually literally had to suffer hiring other men to make sure they did the job right and, and worrying and, until they got the work done. So that's work too. Most people who do real estate hire others. So if I cannot do the labor myself, maybe it'll be okay if I get to do that as a job. Don't ever want to go towards a man's backside. That's what you don't want. I don't know. 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 You don't ever want to. I just don't like it. I, I'm not gay. I can't judge if a gay person or a fornicating straight person is any better or somebody who doesn't do anything wrong with sexual immorality who might sin, have sinned worse. I can't. I, the only one who can judge any of us is God. Maybe somebody that has a girlfriend will make it right into heaven when they die, when they're probably like 103, probably, or 82, or I don't know. Yourself rush. joke that way and then God made him see how to really be <clears throat> okay I'm gonna get this place good I mean I don't get anyone good I don't do that I don't know what that means I'm doing the dishes I don't know I'm going to get this place looking good. Oh, it has to be in proper grammar. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you... Make sure you... Go on with the family. Make sure No. No. We don't do that in our family. 
looks a little bit like his father used to look now. But when he was young, some, I think he still looks like a young George W. 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 Maybe he's not that bad. He's pretty mild compared to some of the presidential stuff. blender and dirt I threw in the grass outside so I didn't throw it but I didn't break it it still works really well That's somebody else, dude. We don't say that in our family. No. You don't do this backside at all. It's wrong. scary like a brain coming out of it. It's just a candy. A peep. A peep. <laughs> That's what my brain just over did. <laughs> Thank you. 
Any cooler you are done for. <laughs> the thoughts that go <laughs> The thoughts that go through people's minds. I don't know. I'm talking on Tinder. Then you fell again. You hear a way. He was trying to have you bet a Rolex watch and take $70,000. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't Try to have you bet a watch, and um, you're out there trying to ride skateboards, and he'd be like, "I bet you can't do that." If so, he, you have to give me your car and a and, and a Rolex watch that you had that you put your investment savings into. If you did, you have to give me that. If you can't land a trick, and he videotapes it. He has a videotaping crew videotaping it. Yeah. Oh, he didn't do the trick. Yo, man, we'll follow you wherever you go. Give me your what? <laughs> Give me your <laughs> They would do this. They go, oh, like that shocker movie, and they would, it, they God would do that to them in their anxiety, and then under something all a month, and then they'd be okay again. That's what they do sometimes. Maybe then that's why they're a good person. Maybe they're okay. And then uh, he didn't really take his advice. He didn't do that. I don't know. Please give me away. No, I don't talk that way. <sighs> Onions. That's scary. I don't know. No. It was in all this messy stuff, so I threw the, threw the stuff in, in the, the garbage. garbage. <laughs> got in the printer. Um. know if I was supposed to save it or throw it out. Of course I would have just thrown it away, but ugh, this is gross. Ugh. A mouse, a mouse got into it. I gotta put him in a trap and put him at, give him to my friend. I'm cleaning the place up. I'm cleaning the place up.
Hi. Hey, I'm starting to sweat. I guess it must be kind of hot out from cleaning and because it's kind of hot out. Hi. 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 There's my meds. I hope nobody steals them. It would be awful. I need those to sleep or have to go to Walgreens. I might have to hide some now that somebody saw where the, I don't know. But um, then when people can't get high on them or anything like that, so it'd be no use to anyone else if they stole it. No one ever really steals anything. No one ever really steals anything from here. No one does. I, I left the doors unlocked. And they didn't steal anything from here. any more food I cleaned it up All right, well it's clean I'm getting this stuff now these cabinets are better hi hi hey. maybe I'll get her and the kids I don't know hey. I'm, I'm getting this countertop clean and <laughs> no, 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 no. <clears throat> I'm just up there. Go down the Go down the Go. Go. Oh. I go down the How is it very little thing there? <laughs> It sounded like the word HIV in my anxiety words. How would how would anyone get that if they're not gay? Unless they were on heroin. I don't get it. Uh, like if when people fornicate, if the person they're with, if the someone they're with was with a gay person and they got AIDS, those are the ways people get AIDS. Gay sex and HIV needles. But there's a chance if people there's a one in one thousand chance when people have sex with somebody with AIDS or HIV, that they could get that with just regular straight people having sex. There's a one in a thousand chance. <clears throat> and it's only passed from blood when there's blood, when they have sex when there's blood. That'd be the only way people um, get HIV, I think. But I don't know. I don't really know. I think it's from blood. So it's gross, but um, I don't fornicate. So I don't care about that. I, I almost got to the point where I didn't care about STD stuff or something. I just, you know, but um, that's not why I don't fornicate. It's because I found out it was wrong and it, it caused suffering. And 
I was just afraid that I was just selfish because I didn't want to suffer from how it made me feel, how it made me feel. And it's wrong. It's, you're not supposed to. So it's a way that I can like, but wow, it's awful not getting to be with a woman. But um, it's wrong. So it's some way I can be kind. But I don't like it. I don't like not being with a woman. I, I, I mean, I, I, I like not fornicating. I, I'm happy just being by, by myself and not being with a woman. But um, I, I don't like being alone. I don't like being alone. <laughs> no. I don't like being alone. No. Um, this is just soda. This is Evia soda. Oh, Al made me think I'm not supposed to drink the soda. <laughs> this is from the Stevia leaf. It's sweetened with a Stevia leaf. That's how it's literally sweetened. It doesn't have any added chemicals. See? Look how simple the ingredients are. Um, carbonated, wait, carbonated water, natural flavors, stevia leaf, stevia leaf extract, and citric acid. That's it. Let's see, it's, it's pretty natural, but it is soda and it is in a can, so I don't know. But for, it's not that bad. It doesn't have, this one doesn't have caffeine. <laughs> This one doesn't have, ca doesn't have caffeine. I saw Anthony comment something. Ca Anthony commented, wow, this is pretty good. I look okay right now. I feel like I look okay. I don't know if it's true or not. <clears throat> Anthony commented something. I don't know. I'm 13. I got no damn mind over here. I got no damn mind over here. I ain't gonna take Armando. <laughs> I ain't gonna take Armando here. Yeah. Hello. Hello. That's how the Mexican people really talk. Hello. Kids might, I don't know. There might be some. There might be some Hispanic, Latin American person who talks like a country accent. I see. No, no, don't do that. Don't pretend it's your wife. Don't, don't pretend your wife is Dorothy all to yourself. That's what somebody thought all to yourself. That's crazy. It's wrong. It's wrong to think that that would be how somebody is. Like you're supposed to go out there in public and have a good social life and everything's okay. And you don't, um, you don't fornicate with other people. That's bad. That's just how it is. But you don't want to pretend your wife is some way that she doesn't want to be, unless she's okay with it too. It makes her look and feel younger. I don't know. As long as it's not wrong, it's not a false idol. You're not acting. You're not making someone feel. You're not being a false idol. I don't know. I don't. I don't. bunch of soda in here. Zevia. Put it in the refrigerator. Somewhere. 
This refrigerator, the bottom of it is, the very bottom of it is frozen. Those are frozen. But that milk is like not frozen for some reason. And the top of it's like a refrigerator. I don't know why. But it has the art on it. And Rowan said it was his favorite refrigerator. So I, I didn't I didn't replace it, but I think Danica wants another one there. She wants to get a new one there, but I could put that like in the guest house or something when they all get here. Maybe. But it's been so difficult to go on. I've been hoping they'd come back home for about seven years. And before that it wasn't before that it was a uh, she was she barely let me see the kids since fall of 2015. So it's been more than eight years. It's just, uh, that's why God let me know that I suffered worse than Job, even though I have my health and have a little money and my kids are alive. Thank God my kids are alive. But Job kept his wife. He only suffered for a few months. He only suffered for a few months. It wasn't that bad. He was somebody in the Bible. And he asked God, he asked God why God did that to him. <clears throat> you, hopefully you never have to go through any of that stuff. Hopefully you never have to go through any of those things. I don't talk to I don't know. I'm going to throw this one away because it has stuff growing out of the top of it. Is out. Well, I they're not as good as I thought. They're okay sometimes. They have a excuse me. One of their drinks is called Goddess. Called Goddess. It can cause harm to. It's not that good to married couples if they drink it for Goddess. The whole drink is called goddess and it can cause difficulty and like almost bring in like other men into their relationship in some ways with lust, I think. And it's almost like trying to make them gay a little bit or something. I don't know that the goddess word, it's pretty bad. It's, it's evil. It's bad. Goddess. It's a false God. Why would you name the drink goddess? It's happened to me twice when I got the goddess drink. One of the other times I got the goddess drink, it didn't do anything. Because I would never choose the goddess drink. They gave it to me because I got the regular kombucha and they didn't have it. So whoever was shopping for the groceries, because I got the delivery people to get the groceries, they brought the they brought the other flavors of kombucha instead of the regular flavors. But it's not the guy's fault. The guy lives in the Hollywood Hills who owns kombucha. The guy, the guy who owns kombucha lives in the Hollywood Hills and sometimes it's okay and I drink kombucha and other times it's like, eh, it's a little bit too much. He's, he's openly gay. I found out the guy who owns is openly gay, but that's not the bad thing. It's that the drink is called goddess and it's bad. Goddess is bad. 
you know, it's not that it's not good. And they do and when I I would never choose the drink goddess. I got the other kombucha drinks, goddess, and um not goddess, I got the other kombucha drinks, but they gave me goddess. Here's the flavor. Oh, here's the bad one. Here's a really bad one they gave me. I didn't know. It says goddess on it. It was awful. Oops. I should break it. I should break them. Well, I'll just throw them in the garbage. <laughs> it's not California's fault. They're not gay there. They're not gay there. They're really straight. Many of, I don't want to tell you how straight the place could become. You know, it's just good. You know, it's good how they are now. They're not really that liberal. They they go on. You know, what does liberal even mean? With, <laughs> they don't care. They, when I went to California in 2018, they, all they could say was great uh, to, to describe things being good. Great. Have a great day. Great. Great. And that's all. That's all. <laughs> it was weird. And this lady couldn't even say that that's how it was when she was driving me in an Uber. And she said, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of saying, oh, great, great, just good, this, great, good. I'm so tired of saying those kinds of things, good, great. But no one really was saying good. She just pretended because she didn't want to get in trouble because they all had to say great. They all had to say great for some reason. And some other weird things about California, they all could have become way Republican. Um, the, the, the other things about how politically it was there, and it was like, they, that's why sometimes just anywhere in the U.S., they don't, sometimes they don't want you to film stuff around there. You're not supposed to film for it, and you don't know why, but other times it's okay to film, like, or you might know why. You know, it's like, oh, they don't want to show people that because they could try to, like, attack it from some other part of the country or some other part of the world, usually not the other part of the country. They wouldn't do anything wrong to them because here it's America. Why would we hurt anyone else in America? We don't care. And, um, and, but other parts of the world, they would get angry. You know, they'd try to attack it and burn up a building or some crap like that. And if my building burns down, I don't know what will happen. You know, there's literally, literally kept this on the stone, you know, and it's not, hopefully it won't burn down. I just couldn't do it anymore. I used to be so worried about the house burning down. I got all these fire extinguishers and smoke alarms. I just couldn't keep doing it. Even though I have, I still do it. I have the smoke alarms. I actually have to change one of the smoke. Have to change one of the smoke detectors. I had to do this like 14 hours a day, but I'll never have to again. I'm supposed to not have to again. That's the miracles. I don't have to work too long hours. But it's because I worked so hard in the videos, but now I think I'm caught up. I've worked full time at homes for 20 years since since fall of 2005. So I've worked full time since fall of 2005 for 20 years. Before that, I went to school. My mom and dad said they'd pay for me if I go to school. So I studied, got really good grades, got scholarships and got on financial aid and got into these really good schools since from age 17 until I was, until 2005. And then I had to work for my mom and dad. And then I had to work for my mom and dad since then and on houses i got i got my own money away from, and had to work really hard on houses starting in 2015 and i made up for because i hadn't worked that hard before then had to really work hard and then now i've worked about 20 years and if you go that that that's until 
2005 fall, but I don't know if I'm going to have to start working more tomorrow or today. Right now, I'm keeping this house in order because it's worth money. I have money in the house, and so I thought I'd clean up the house again. But, um, and there's other stuff I could change the smoke detector. Oh, it's a really nice day out. Hey, here's a caffeine. <clears throat> here's a caffeine drink. Uh, but my dad's okay. I hope to God he's okay. Here's a skateboard thing. Skateboard wheels or whatever. These are skateboard things. I can't judge people if they do any drugs. I don't do any. I'll probably never do any. <coughs> I'm gonna throw this away. Don't ever do, <laughs> yeah. Skateboard thing. They used to think I was on drugs when I skateboarded and wore different clothes. <laughs> I never did any drugs in, in junior high. They thought I was on drugs because I wore shorts when it was like really cold outside. I didn't know how to follow the weather back then. <laughs> and I was waiting for the school bus and I had little, I had like not little shorts, but shorts. And they're like, why are you wearing shorts when it's like really, it was like a really cold day. But I, I didn't know how to watch the weather and stuff back then. So I didn't know what the weather was going to be when I was, when I was a kid. <laughs> And now I have it on my phone. I have to watch it like pretty much every, every day or, or so. I used to watch it way many times a day and because I had to go out there and work and stuff. So I have to work. So I just got done working really hard at videos. And then instead of getting to rest, I had to do all this God's work, all these different things, thinking about arranging things that I'd, had, I'd have to do to have enough money, God and Jesus work for Danica and the kids, Danica and the kids, and God. You know, not just stuff that made enough money. Oh. Better shut up. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> this was kind of fun. I thought I'd try to see if it was any less amount of suffering if I just let the kitchen go. Kind of. And it was just worse. It was just worse. <laughs> I got this to really save money. If you're poor, well, I don't know about the nutritional value. It has some protein. You want to get fruits and vegetables and plenty of water. But if you're poor, these huge things of pasta are like less than $2. This, this thing of pasta is less than $2. And this is like a day of food. Or two days if you're skinny. If you're kind of skinny, you're smaller than, way smaller than me. You're smaller than me. It's like two days of food, but you want to get real more like nutrients like but if you had to this will work you know it has protein so to save money i got a bunch of them one time <clears throat> i'm nerd dudes A kitty cat day. <laughs> a, kitty, a kitty cat day. A kitty cat day. 
Hey, I found a soap. Oh. Oh, it's hand soap. I don't use, I've been using a bar of soap. I started using a bar of soap like the old people do because they had, I don't know, it started like the old people. I, I used to think they're old. And now I, now I use a bar of soap. Hi. You see a bar of soap. And I got all this when I was in California. They had ivory soap that I didn't recall using ivory in particular. I didn't use ivory in particular, and it smelled really good there. But I got ivory soap. I got a bunch of them, and it smells like the regular ivory they had instead of Irish Spring. But in our family, the Irish side had Irish Spring. Had Irish Spring. But not that's not really what my dad ever used. We used other kinds of bars of soap. But my grandmother, I think, used Irish Spring, but I don't know. And, like, the older generation used bars of soap. Like my grandparents. So, I don't know. Bills. Let me put these somewhere. No. Put these in the drawer somewhere. I have to hide these bills. Bills. <laughs> that was my grandmother and grandfather. They had bills. Like, I didn't understand why they had, they had to be bills or something. I thought it was like old people did it. But I've done them since. I've had to do bills since I was like a teenager. This is getting pretty good. The whole place looks cleaner. No. 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 Uh, not one of those. No. No. Hey, man, it's fell off. No. 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 You don't want to end up down in hell like the munchkins on earth. <laughs> <laughs> they did, they probably didn't land up in hell. They probably made it to heaven, the munchkins and the Wizard of Oz. But on earth, they felt like it was hell. But wow, this is, there's no hell on earth and there's no heaven on earth. And that's reality. That's reality. I've seen hell. I was shown hell by God. It's, it came up from the surface of the earth. It's scary as crap. It's scary as crap. It's way worse than anything bad can happen on earth. If you think it's bad here, it's 20,000 times as bad down there. It's really frightening. There's no rest down there. It's really bad. I can't even start to talk about how it is because it's that bad. It's so horrific. They, they don't let them go. They don't let the people go from the beatings and torments and stuff. And it's really bad. It's stuff that human beings don't do to others on earth. And if it was that bad here, somebody would just die. Somebody would just die from it if it was that bad. It's There's no hell on earth. Dad, Al, any of you people who think there's hell on earth, that is not true. Anyone who thinks heaven is not on earth eh, is right. Heaven's not on earth, you know. It's just how it is. It's reality. We can joke and on this sinful place, it's kind of sinful and listen to some you know music that says things that aren't always true and it's like not, you know, you know, it's not the best place sometimes, Earth, but hell is way worse. Hell is way, way worse. It's really, really bad. Hell, hell is really bad. I was showing what it's like. God showed me because I was, I was acting like, oh, can't, can't end up in hell anyway. It's not real or something like that. And I started being more sinful. So God showed me what it was really like, and it's really, really bad. It's worse than war. It's worse than anything bad that can happen here. The places down there are worse than prison. They're worse than anything bad that could happen to someone on earth. It's really, really, really bad. It's really, really, really bad. I mean, it's scary. But heaven, but heaven is really so good and beautiful that it's way better than anything we know on here. Like this place, I, I, I don't know. The, heaven is really good. You know, this, this place sometimes I, I got discouraged about. Like, I feel good and happy in this video, but there are about three days of almost constant unrest and suffering leading up to this video. So, 
this is videos like, hey, everything's okay, you know, and that's how most others, everyone else gets to feel, but usually that's not how I've had it. I've gotten to feel, and it may have been for my own sin, because I didn't know any better. I didn't know any better. I didn't know it was wrong. I didn't do anything that bad. I didn't ever, I didn't even do much sexual immorality. Like, look at those rock stars who were 3,000 people, you know? How did they do that? And then they're, they don't feel bad. I don't want to. It's gross. But that's what the temptation of the devil is. The temptation of the devil makes people, when they're adult, when they're grown up, the temptation of the devil makes <laughs> is awful. It made everything bad. Because instead of just wanting to be with her wife and getting to look really young forever and uh, being kind and good, and everyone getting along, instead they're, they're false gods, false gods on this earth. Trying to look perfect, putting earthly values more important than, than kindness to others. And we get old on this earth because of what happened with the devil. Who cares? Some people don't. Some people are young. Some people look really good when they're young, when they're old. They look young. Macaroni and cheese. I have to wash this off. I don't know where this came from. Oh, my mom got it. Macaroni and cheese. I don't know why it's here. I don't know why mac and cheese. I don't know what this is. Maybe something bad. Mac. My sister's last name and cheese. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. But I did suffer for about a week. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do with these. Yeah. Lesbian guys, hey, I'm a teenager trying to sound like I'm big and older. Trying to sound older. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Here's an antidote to my medicine. I had to. I told him to do the with in. The devil's tongue. The devil's tongue, mate. Father made it to heaven. That's pretty good. But he was sinful on this earth. He was sinful. Here's a book. This is good. My mom gave it to me. I can write in it. Nowadays, when you write in a book, you can write an entire screenplay or something, and then you can take pictures of it and scan it and save the text and put, and make, and and so it goes right into a screenplay. Well, if you know how to do it properly, if you know how to do the work for it, or else you're fucked. So don't act like I don't know shit. Sorry, I got angry twice in this video. You have to work really hard. That's pretty much how this earth is. I've done that since I was 17 years old. I didn't have anything really inherited yet. But who knows? For all I know, I don't even know. I've had to keep working. I've had to keep working on things. I shouldn't be a jerk. I just acted mean twice in this video. I may have to take the whole video down. Like I got the feeling some... I better just forgive others. You're supposed to forgive others instead of acting mean. You're supposed to forgive others. 
<clears throat> like if they if they act like you, you're like trying to look young, like Jonathan Brandmeier or some kid who uh, they're blaming tax money time with the old trying to sound old or old or they have <laughs> this this is a miracle this is a mir not me well maybe i was the miracle look look how beautiful and bright it is here and look how dark it is down in roanoke <laughs> this this is that's really strange there for years i had a, like a dark cloud following me look how beautiful and bright and sunny and godly it is here and down in roanoke it was dark oh the sun went to roanoke now okay and it was really bright here. Now, now it's like kind of the same. That's weird. You know, usually it was like I had a dark cloud following me for years and sadness because my kids weren't here. Well, because my wife wasn't here and my kids weren't here. Now I'm going to wipe up this kitchen countertop. Kitchen countertop. I zoomed in. Oh, I zoomed in. I don't know. Now. I barely have any mouthwash left. I better wash my mouth out with it. No. Uh, put the spaghetti. But no. Well, some people, they, they do things differently. They hear <laughs> vitamin C. a miracle that there was coffee in there and it didn't fall down oh no i got this coffee coffee maker <clears throat> that made me suffer torment and unrest for like two or three days that coffee here's some of the coffee got thrown in there it almost fell on the ground but it didn't i'm gonna have to wipe up these countertops <clears throat> did that day Dee da day, dee da dee da day, dee da gotta clean the cabinet, gotta clean the whoops, not the cabinets. I already did that. Hey guys, oh, hey. <laughs> I know, no, I don't mean to sound mean about it, but <clears throat> yep, yeah, I'm for Jonathan Brandma, teenager trying to sound older. Doesn't make any sense. I haven't gotten famous yet. Well, I'm actually famous. God let me know I'm famous. I haven't gotten famous yet in three years. I'm famous right now. Hey, guess what? Famous. 
I played Ronald McDonald from 2016 to today in the biggest Ronald McDonald video on earth. It had more views than Elon Musk's biggest video. It has 63 million views. His had 62 million with him smoking weed with Joe Rogan in a podcast video. I had more views in my video than Joe Rogan's biggest video. That's how big my fucking video. I don't mean to curse about it. I shouldn't curse about it, but I am famous. I'm technically famous. God let me know I'm famous. So to say that I wasn't famous is wrong. So I don't know if you understand how long I've been working at this stuff, but I've gotten back about 10% of what I should what I should get back. So I haven't gone A-list with it. I haven't gone as big as um, Jonathan Brandmeier, and you don't recognize my face in the video because I had makeup on. And makeup on so when I go out in an airport or something like that no one's ever said hey he's the fam he's that guy I like him no one's ever said that <laughs> it sucked I worked at this 35 years so um I don't mean to curse about it or something I don't mean to be angry and curse <laughs> Look at the good life God gave you. Yay. Oh, yeah. I done, 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 done. These are my jeans. <laughs> Here's my tripods to film on. My costume. I think it was 60 bucks. I don't know. Hey. Well, I may eat this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The Munchkins and Dorothy and hell no, dudes. No, <laughs> I don't. The Munchkins and Dorothy dudes. He talks like that. That's a that's an alternate universe wrong. Wrong. Not me. I'm not supposed to. I'm not going to do the laundry after this. At least I got this much done. I got to wipe the counters and do some. This is not really that much work. Well, this is kind of work. It's keeping the value of the house up. I may have to just leave and sell it. Here's all these plates I found downstairs. Uh, these are cool. These must have been Ingas. She, her, her and her husband owned the, her and her husband owned the neighborhood. They're from uh, Finland, uh, Russia, and Eastern Europe and Europe. And they moved here. And 
And he built the neighborhood. I found these in a downstairs cabinet. And I, and I closed the cabinet, and then I was going down there to get food every once in a while. I know you're probably I'm commenting on that. It's showing my stomach right now. But um, the cabinets were left open. Uh, the cabinets were left open. A ghost opened the cabinets. It was really weird. i show that. That's why it had it pointing in that direction. I'm showing this from when I put it in the dishwasher. And so a cabinet, a ghost opened the home. Oops. That's okay. That's normal. My dad kept me working. That's why I have money, because I got a strong work ethic. That's why I did so many films and videos that are really high quality films. And it's not, you know, I used to not, I've just been doing a little more qu quantity and some quality, quantity and quality. But I, I really just believe in God and Jesus. So my dad had me really do a relentless kind of unrest at God's work for God. And it didn't get me down, but starting a few years ago, I just, I started to get, I, I didn't start to give up, but it's like, why should I do my best work of art in a film that should be worth 10 million or a hundred million dollars or a million or 2 million or something like that, at least, or 300,000 is be almost crap at this point. $2 million if I did a feature film or something, you know, for as hard as I worked. I worked harder than anyone I knew. I worked harder than anyone I knew to make those films. They're special. They're good. You know, they, I don't understand why it wasn't paid much money yet. But I keep working. I keep doing my best work. Sometimes I do really good quality videos. Um, this is a live video. I just don't understand why it hasn't paid, like, but God let me know, keep doing it. <laughs> so, there are people who work at the entertainment industry their entire lives, and if they keep up at it long enough, it gets there. But that's only, that's like 20% of my problem. The 80% of the problem, well, there are other problems. It's really that her and the kids didn't come home yet. <laughs> I shouldn't be mean. <laughs> And I like my act. Well, I better just get a life. I better get a life. I better get a life or something. <clears throat> yes, I think the plumbing. It's a miracle. Some of them must keep the places brand new, really rich and nice, and in good condition. They have a work ethic where they keep it okay. But some anxiety was making it like, like you're some old clown who doesn't do a good job of keeping your house in order or something. Not an old. <laughs> hey, I don't know. That's all. Well, I'm 46, so I used to have to act old, and then I didn't have to act old, and then. I didn't know, I didn't thank God I didn't have to say I was old 
Thank God I didn't have to say it. No. They don't, they, they'd say I was gay with my own body if I tried to, if I tried to say I wasn't old. But when I was, I didn't have to say I was old until I was like, something happened when I was like 44 and I had to start admitting I was old. I could literally say that with my own words. It sucks to say that. I thought I'd never have to say it. <clears throat> but my friend Mishka, <laughs> my friend, <laughs> my friend Mishka. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. The sun. Don't let the sun go down on me. <laughs> no. Don't let the sun go down on me. Don't let the sun go down on me. I'm cleaning the countertops. I had to clean up all this. Now I'm going to have to get rid of the mouse. Here's something to capture the mouse. I can put him out. I can give him to my friend as a pet. My friend. <laughs> oh, no. It's like all dark all of a sudden. See if Rona, if he's bright. No, that would be mean and evil. That's like the evil eye. When somebody pulls out their eye, they like pull out their eye and show it. I got thoughts of that and I was wondering what it is. And it's from this old Misfits album. And I looked up the guy who who did it, and uh, the artist Pusshead, <laughs> Pusshead, and uh, my friend knows him, because he, uh, he does all the design at Vans, and they have Pusshead shoes, they did the Zorlac Metallica design, Pusshead, he's one, he's a famous artist from the 80s and 90s, he did the um, desi many designs for Metallica, and Misfits, and Danzig, and, um, and other stuff, and one of his art things that, <clears throat> that he did, that he did for the Misfits, is showing an eye and he, and he pulls out his eye and he, goes, and he shows it. I kept getting to worry about that. Like, I didn't want to, I couldn't understand what it was. I didn't like it. It was bad. I looked it up and the art is called Evil Eye. The art is called Evil Eye. And I wanted to find out what it really means. And Evil Eye means that whoever does that, if you get a picture of them doing that, pulling their eyeball out, like I would get a thought of them in my mind, whereas people I knew and random ones would start doing it here and there. It means that they think that someone else can harm them. I think from what I read about evil eye, but the meaning of evil eye. It means they think someone else will harm them. So they like, think that you're going to do something bad to them and they blame others thinking that they're the ones who caused them harm. And it's not that good. And it's like the devil's way of tricking people into thinking that others are harming them. It's not that good. It's really not that good. It's really not that good. Oi. 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 I'm gonna wipe up the countertops. Hey, this is a cool steady cam thing that I got for my camp for my film and video. But nowadays they have an image stable as they're on the new iPhones. I wonder if that would be way more steady and really look like a dolly. Hey, that's pretty cool. If I can make some films with it, I don't have to buy a really expensive 8K movie camera, which I almost I might I don't know. I'd rather have it. Well, you can't replace those lenses, but then you have to do it all. I don't know if their auto is really good now because it's new. It's peanut butter. This is what my kids used to eat. I eat it sometimes. This is what my kids used to eat. I just couldn't eat anything. I've been eating food today. And, and in these pants, I look bigger. 
and the little shorts, I look small. I look in better shape because you can see how strong my legs are because I kind of worked worked out with my legs so it looks like more athletic. Like almost like there's like bodybuilders who wear like small shorts or whatever. It just looks like it's in better shape for me because I worked out. I started working out my legs more, and it's a miracle I, I'm able to. Some people have difficulty walking and stuff. If you can work out your legs, you know maybe. I don't know, maybe you can work you know, be harder or something. I don't know. If you eat really healthy and do God's work. But only God knows. The people who don't work out their legs will live longer. Why worry about how long we'll live? We might we might die tomorrow. We might die any moment now or whatever. Dang and dang. I don't think that would happen. But if I did, it's okay. Only well, God knows what his plan is for me. And maybe, yeah, God. God's the one who knows the plan for me. Jesus knows a little bit about God's plan, but Jesus does not know who will make it to heaven on judgment day, I think. Only God knows who, when judgment day will be. Jesus doesn't Jesus doesn't know when judgment day will be, but he knows way more than us. He puts us in shining, but you know, he can make us the king bush a king of a, a crap compared to him. Jesus will be king on earth. Jesus is king, but it doesn't mean that um, you know he's not gonna be mean at all. He doesn't believe in mean. The way is not meanness to anybody. Meanness is the earthly crap. War, that's earthly stuff. That's not going to be in heaven. That's not with God and Jesus. That's because of the sin of the earth. Somehow we've always had, well, in this lifetime, there's war. It sucks. Here's a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> That's an it. That's an it. I wonder where the paper are. The paper towels are downstairs. This mouse get into things. Gross. Might have to do two loads of dishes. Look how dark it got, how selfish I was. Mm -hmm. 
Tried to stick something up my ass and break it entirely in half, straight from my butt crack all the way up to my through my head and everything. And why would somebody do that to me? Oh, because they thought I was gay for showing my body, or who knows what. Jonathan Brown, my Jonathan Old, 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 you know. <laughs> Shut the drugs on your asshole across the Mexican border, quick! Quick, he's going to pass out, he's laughing so hard, so high in here. Don't say it, dude. No, curse, man. Well, you two said it didn't hurt. I'll try to not do it. I was trying to be G-rated. This is gross. Gross to see. Gross. It's only a gross. It's only a gross. This is person that... This person that Danica and I were friends with in California in film school. And we were vegan. And we were drinking soy milk. And she said, soy milk grows. Soy milk grows, grows. Hey, can I go to the This is great. 
That's about gross and balls, dude. <laughs> Get me to this. I uh, hospital quick, my back. I know. <laughs> I'm bending over so much. You're doing a good game with me because I'm drawing. You're looking good on camera. You're like, he's gay, man. And then I was working so hard and my back started to hurt. I felt like Igor. <laughs> Igor in the uh, vampire movie, uh, Young Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> story about Vincent Gallo when I was in Los Angeles I went to a record of Buffalo 66 why is it so hot in here oh shit that's a miracle I went to a record of uh, you know that actor Vincent Gallo from Buffalo 66? <laughs> yeah. It's almost clean. It's almost clean. And, uh, remember that actor Vincent Gallo from Buffalo 66? He's probably still an actor and doing fame stuff or whatever. And um I went to a, a book signing or movie signing or something like that for him at a small record kind of store or no video store in Los Angeles in like 1997 and I went by myself and he was there and it was like a small place that the only maybe 30 or 40 people were at the book signing and he was there signing stuff and it was after he got famous with Buffalo 66 and um and I was like, had so much anxiety because I was a student. And um, I saw a Frankenstein video, and I was like, I was like trying to act cool, and I was like, I was like, hey, how are you, Frankenstein? And Frank, and Frankenstein. And, but I wasn't that bad. I wasn't like, I was healthy, really healthy. But, uh, <laughs> he, he thought I was a nerd because it was like Frankenstein. It was like nerdy. It was like you know. Dude, come on guys, party the time. I don't know. And like, and so then, I didn't even get him to sign anything. I didn't get to talk to him, but I, I was looking at him the whole time he was doing things. He was looking at me here and there. He was aware of me. I was like 19, I think. Maybe 20. Just turned 20. I was probably still 19. And um, then I walked out before I got to talk to him in real life. I got to interact with him by like looking at him and seeing him and there were hardly any people there and I was like one of the people and I just I got too much anxiety and walked out and I got to see him and do a signing and stuff in the video store he was signing like copies of Buffalo 66 or whatever <laughs> so this is okay it's not super clean but it's better if I get paper towels I can make it super clean but I don't know I gotta wipe up the countertop on this side. I gotta wipe up the countertop here. It looks not that great. Oh, I'll just use the Brill or whatever. Uh, but some people did real estate and that made money, so it's not really that nerdy to like clean up and work on houses or whatever. You know, you can make the value of your house go up if you own a house or just keep it in good condition so you save. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm a nerd. Get some of the bird birds. Okay. Get some of the bird birds.
That's where the cat used to walk downstairs. Sometimes you can't always work in the thing that you're doing. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to get to your goal. God has a better plan. And whether or not somebody's calling you a lesbian, dudes. I dropped something in here. Hope it doesn't. Go. Oh, thank goodness. I found it. I dropped this in, into the dishwasher. I found it. I, of course, I would have had to look for it. It couldn't just like, you know, it could like mess up a bunch of money and the cost of installing it and all that stuff or whatever. <laughs> yeah, dudes, I'm a nerd. <laughs> but maybe I'm a creepy person. I don't know. I'm probably just going to leave. I might not get to work on the houses in this neighborhood i thought maybe if I, well if i live long enough i'll get a chance to buy some of them when they come up to, for when they're for sale yeah and then i'll get to like work in the house in the neighborhood if i live that long but i don't know what i'm talking about and only god knows what's going to happen and god may want me to go to california so i don't know what god wants me to do but that's one Thing that maybe I'd like to do that, that motivates me to be alive is getting to work on the houses in this neighborhood and do stuff like this, like cleaning up old houses, getting them in good condition. I was wiping up the countertops. I left the paper towels downstairs. And then the houses in this neighborhood are pretty cool if they want to sell them. So... There's not really any other houses in Rona that I want to work on. I just like this neighborhood. I like my neighborhood. I just like... I, I don't really want to work on houses out there. I just don't like the way it feels to have to work out there. I just go to California instead. You know, some people like the jobs they do. My mom and dad have done work on homes since they are teenagers. I don't know if I'd like going out in Roanoke. If Danica and the kids come home, maybe I can do it. Because then I'd have her to come home to you no matter how difficult it was. But I don't want to do that and come home alone. It's just not that fun to me. It's not why I work so hard on my films to end up having to work on some random homes instead. It doesn't make me feel happy to do You know, like, what would there be fun about it? My dad likes to. But if I inherit houses from my dad, I'll do that. Or if I have to work for his houses, if I have to work on his houses, like for however much he wants to pay me, if I'm supposed to, I'll see. I don't know what God has planned for me. So I don't know. This isn't that bad. If I was doing this in some house out there. I left the paper towels downstairs. <clears throat> you know, mansions in LA not even big really they're like a little bit bigger than a normal house but there's one or a few that are really big when they get up to like 10,000 square feet but most of the quote-unquote mansions in LA are not that great you know, they have neighbors like right next door there might be 5,500 square feet you know it's like kind of big for for a family, if you have three kids, it's a pretty good size. 
It wouldn't be too big. Especially if you had... Whatever. I was going to say animals, but that's gross. Like I just, just cleaned up the feces of a mouse. I'd like to just stay here at this house, but I don't know what I'm going to have to do to make enough money. <clears throat> Here's, oh, hey, this is cool peppermint. This will keep the mice away. And I have a cage. A uh, cage. No, I'm, I'm not going to kill them. I'm going to put them in a the cage and put them somewhere else. They're not going to like that. I hope it doesn't hurt them. I hope it doesn't hurt them. That could hurt them. They're not going to like that. I'm going to put it all around here. They can smell it already. It smells really strong. They probably won't go near it. It smells really strong. They're not going to like the way it smells. I'm wiping the countertops with it. I got those countertops okay. <laughs> hey, I'm a nerd. Well, this is cool because then this is like real estate kind of work. If you buy some old house, you can just do this. You might be able to find one for 10,000 bucks, but make sure it's not a tear down. Make sure it won't get torn down or something because then you lose the whole value. You only have the value of the land, but for 10,000, if you get the land and the um, plumbing and uh, the water and the electric hookups, it's pretty good. You could build another house or get a, a small house on them. Um, Amazon, you can buy a house on Amazon.com for 4,000 bucks and it shows up in the mail. But that's like if you had to do something, if you really had to survive. So, or not survive, but my, I might have to survive. You hopefully don't have to survive because that could imply that we may get cancer and hopefully neither one of us gets cancer. <laughs> Only God knows that. I hope to God you never get cancer. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not, but I hope to God you don't get any cancer. But I might have to get, so I don't know what survive means. I just said survive, but I don't know what else to call it. Like so many people started getting cancer, like, sur like survival meant cancer. Instead of a survive, like a country where I can survive, which it used to mean. <laughs> yeah. oh. Going back to the heritage, of course, that's how, you know, my mom and dad were from New York. Didn't it really, I used to be afraid to say country boy can't survive because it wasn't right for me when I was growing up. And then, but when I was smaller, it could have been when I was like a really little kid, you know, I don't know. And then it became appropriate. I became kind of like a country boy sometimes, but, um, I don't know, but I hope to God none of us die an untimely death or whatever, like a, what's his name? Norm McDonald, who got up to 300 pounds and was smoking and drinking. <laughs> he may, may not have looked like it in his pictures, but he probably wasn't the healthiest. He didn't have the healthiest habits, and he may have been fornicating, but he, not at all. Maybe he was really godly and good. I don't know if he fornicated. You have to look it up and see if he was married or had girlfriends or what. Maybe that's not what caused it, but a bunch of them, you know, I can't judge him. He was probably, maybe he was more kind and good than me. I don't know why he died when he was only like 62 or whatever. <laughs> it's just, I just, I just got that thing. Dead. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> God, that's up to God if we live or die. So don't worry about it because it's up to God if we live or die. But um, uh, I hope to God you're really healthy and well. I hope to God you're really healthy and well. I hope to God you're really healthy and well. I'm just doing a selfish thing, cleaning up my house, making a video. But I'm trying to do God's work in the video. I hope to God you're okay. In Jesus' name, amen whoever's watching this video. You know my mom and dad, wherever they are. If they're watching or not. 
Hey, this is pretty good. Hey. <laughs> I guess that's kind of how I am. Like a, uh, it's kind of like how I am sometimes. Like, hey, I hope my kids are okay. Hi. God, I got to clean this place and fix the plumbing leak. It's stupid. It's a little thing, but other people really get to enjoy stuff out there. cleaning the place up and doing God's work more than just anything. Usually I don't say the word just. That limits things to, it'd have to be God. If there's any one thing, it'd have to be God, because God can do anything. Then it can be unlimited things. Hasn't been appropriate these days to say that word. Just. Oh crap! It's like an anxiety. It's not even an anxiety word. It's just not supposed to. I'm not, I'm not supposed to say it. <laughs> it wasn't that way before. I don't know what it is. Ew. I have a friend named Justin. I have two friends named Justin. Well, I don't know what to think about. Maybe I'm not supposed to hang out with you these days. the days of looking really in good shape. That's when everything was okay. But that's not that's not what's most important. I have to do what God wants me to do, so it hasn't been appropriate to be that selfish. It hasn't been appropriate to be that selfish. me to be kind to people who are older now. I don't know why. So many of them are in my life that God brought into my life and they're 80 years old or in their 80s. They're in their 80s and 70s. Most of them are in their 70s. There may be some in their 60s. I don't know. And so Stupid. 
creative person doing stuff. I like to be with my wife and kids and do a bunch of other stuff. But I had to wipe off the bottom of this. You know, who else will do it? done cleaning the place up, I think. Well, the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, man. <coughs> Throw the trash away. Hi. I'm selfish. I'm selfish. Mm -hmm. This goes with those milk jugs. This, hi. These are the tops for the milk jugs. Those milk jugs. I have to put this here. I'm going to have to dust this off. Oh, great. Oh, man. Ew, I touched it. Oh, gross. Ew. Okay. Hi. I had to clean. I'm a nerd who cleans. I don't know. Yeah, I really get washed right here. Oh, I don't know. It's a miracle. They don't look that bad. <laughs> but it, maybe I do. Maybe I look worse than other people would. Some people are going bald and they may look better than me and other for other Oh 
Only God knows what will happen. Only God knows what's going to happen. something weighing down. Toilet paper is downstairs. that day. I did that day. Remember those days when you show your arms <laughs> on the t-shirts? 
Those were fun days. I did that day when you're like, when it felt like you really got to jog or be skinny, kind of. I don't know. Maybe you are skinny. It's awful. Hi. Okay, no. Oh, hey, 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 it went down really hard. Or somebody thinks I'm strong, you know. Because I'm, because they're strong, they're a brute. And they mishandle things, of course. Because anyone who has the slightest bit of strength doesn't... <laughs> no. You know, people who um, do strength training, who do strength training, are the most athletic people of today. They can do things in a subtle, loving way towards a, a child or a baby better than people who don't do strength training. Because, you know, in some instances, in the argument that you're th saying that strength would in any way change someone's ability to be really good at what they do. It has nothing to do with it. You know? <clears throat> Just because traditionally rock stars were skinny and because you're outdated because you don't lift, I don't know, I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. Yeah. But, oh, throw the trash down because he's strong. Oh, break that because he's strong. Who the fuck does that, you know? I might as well just if I can't even say anything mean about it, I'm supposed to forgive them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> it makes no sense. You know, maybe if someone did steroids. Maybe. Maybe. But not somebody who just works out naturally with weights. It doesn't affect um, how you... You don't throw things down because you're strong. You'd be a skinny person who breaks the shit out of that when they're a teenager who didn't lift weights. <laughs> has nothing to do with if you lift weights or not, but I understand what you're saying. You think that I was mean and tried to break things. He means. He means. I don't know. I 
I'm stupid. I lost my temper. I lost my temper three times in this video. I lost my temper three times in this video. Because I'm selfish. Because I'm selfish. I should have let it kill me. When you're selfish, it causes death. When you're selfish, God says it causes death. So it's starting to hurt me for being selfish and cleaning my place up and only thinking about me or whatever. But they're trying to rape me up the ass the whole time with anxiety or thoughts or something. He's a fag because he wants to look in front of the camera or whatever. You know, so I don't know. Let that kill me then. Who cares? I don't care. I literally don't care. That's how I literally am now. You know why? Because my wife is not there for me. And my kids are not at home. My wife and kids are. Because I'm not there for my wife. Because I'm not there for my wife. And I'm not there for my kids to help them be their best, of course. It's nothing to do with it. You're not a selfish person who wants someone to, you know. That's why her channel's not doing as well as it used to. Because I'm not there for her. Because she wouldn't let me. Selfish. I better just be quiet. Gross. Great. I messed up three times in this video. It was really mean. <clears throat> mean three times. I don't understand why. Three strikes, you're out. Three strikes, you're out. Three strikes. Country accent. Country accent. Muppets. Muppets. Muppets, yeah, for Muppets, mm -hmm. yeah, Muppets, Muppets. <laughs> it sounded like the devil coming from there. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Who killed me? Who killed me? I mean, I was, I was mean three times. It's awful. It sounded like the devil. I try to pretend I smell bad. <laughs> the devil. I got it wrong. I tried to act really strong. 
But I, I got so weak at one time I had to be bedridden. So I had to do stuff like that to get stronger and work at really hard at working out with weights. So I had to try to look cool and act like really good looking, like way better than I was because I thought I was the least of everyone. When I was about 19, before I went to LA, I felt like I was the least of, of every other kid for looks. So I had to like find some way that God let me to work hard on looking good again. So do, working out was the thing. Um, almost any godly way I was able to, I, I had to try to look the best, better than everyone because they made fun of me and made me feel the least of everyone in the classroom, everywhere I went. It was awful. I had to just study away from the other kids while they were partying. It was not easy. And then I got a scholarship into one of the best film schools on earth after about, you know, I went to colleges and universities about, enrolled, well, for eight years, I was enrolled in colleges and universities, yeah. yeah. But I went to Chapman, so that was, that's the number five film school, or four, number four film school. So that's pretty good. So I shouldn't do that anymore. I shouldn't try to act like really good looking when I get the chance, like really strong to, so that it was like, made this look smaller or something. Like if I was trying to pose right there and my arms went down, trying to look, you know, try to make my, i try to make these look smaller somehow. I was able to, you know, I could, I had this ability to make myself look really almost perfect. I thought I had to look perfect and I worked relentlessly hard at it. Cause when, by the time I was 19, I felt the least of everyone like with my looks. I, I, was, I was barely able to hobble. I had hair in front of my eyes, or ha not in front of my eyes. You can't do that nowadays, you know, a little bit maybe, but you know, that's against the law, they said. So I don't know where I'm gonna live or what. <laughs> but um, I don't know, I don't know. And then, so I gained 40 pounds of muscle after I was bedridden, it got pretty bad. And then um, after that, I was better and I was really skinny. I weighed 125 pounds or 120 or 130 or 135, about, about that range when I was at my skinniest. And I was at this height, almost six feet tall. Or now I may be tall. I think I got taller in my 40, in my early 40s, which is weird. But I don't know if that's true or not because I had big shoes on. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> but um, hopefully my kids are okay. I'm, I'm going to clean one more thing here and show you where I, the place that I cleaned up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to show you how good I got the place. Okay. I'm going to show you I've got the place clean. Oi. Oi. We got the hot seat, hot seat, hot seat here. We got the Jews, we the Jews, we all got the Jews. We know, we're the got the Jews, Jews, we got the other Jews, we're the Jews, everywhere the Jews. We got the horsey, horsey, big suit, big suit, we got the horsey. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about making a, a uh, what's, let me turn the camera away from me, a music video about that. We got the horsey Jews, we got the Jews here. Jesus was a Jew, Jesus was a Jew, king of everyone, not just the Jews. Don't hurt him, don't hurt you, don't hurt me, I won't hurt you. We love the Jews, Jews are good, Jews good. <sighs> Do as they should for Jesus, cause he was a Jew too. Oh no, ha seed, ha seed. <laughs>
No, 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 not the hot seat. Okay. This is the thing I cleaned up. I got the kitchen looking pretty good. I gotta get these toilet paper tissues out of here. Or wipe my nose or whatever. I got it looking pretty good. I still haven't, I can clean that a little bit more, but I don't know. I'm just gonna wipe that a little bit with a paper towel and not even finish doing it. Cause Al says don't finish the work. Cause his wife died. His wife died when she tried to keep working after they got back from, from vacation and she was sick. She was sick and she kept trying to work to catch up cause she had been on a vacation not working. And so she kept trying to work and um, it was too much for her to do and she died. And so he doesn't like to keep working until you get to a goal. Because he's in some ways God, well, God made him do that because uh, because God's plan, because God's plan is best for you. And I was always <laughs> no, it's not. It's not bad and racist. It just you have to get like a. Why are you racist? I don't. They're not really a race. I'm just not gonna keep cleaning it. I don't even care. It was kind of fun to not clean. There's something new I tried to do. All right. I'd rather get my wife and kid, be with my wife and kids, be there for her, at least have them in the same house. Even if I didn't get to touch her, she'd be in the same house. But I'm not supposed to say that because that's not how a husband and wife are supposed to be. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to be close and hug or to something, I don't know. We got the house. See, Jews, we got Jews over here. Jews, what to do? What the Jews? Jews, a fly came to here. Get it away from you, away from me. What kind of fly is that? Jeff Goldblum. Oh, no, he's really there. Where you are, in his underwear, dancing around, his exercise pants. He's young looking again, even though he's 72. We got the Jews, 72. We got the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, no, yeah. Okay, I I I got the counter uh, me. I got the countertop looking better. I got the trash can, okay. Uh I can throw that trash away and throw that trash away. I got the kitchen looking okay. It's a little messy in here, but at least it's not dirty. Okay, I'm gonna go. I cleaned up the kitchen. It's a nice day. I laid there in the I laid there in the sun. We got the juice. No. Oh yeah. No. He's a different name now. Good old juice. Juice. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, oh that was in the sun. It's not showing an accurate temperature. It was here in the sun, so it gave an inaccurate temperature. It's probably 72. Hey, no, no. Or 74, or 70, or 68. 68, or 78. I don't know. Hey, it's a nice day. It's a nice day. No. So it's good. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> we got the Jews over here. Ha seed. They are near. They are everywhere. They are there. 
is what the songs say on the radio. They're wrong. They're wrong. Destroy. Destroy those things that he does. He's wrong. Only God is there. God is everywhere. It's true. All those songs on the radio are good. No. Two. Who speaks Spanish? Me? You? I don't know. I don't too. Ti, ta, hi, ha, who? Y tu? No. He can't know him. Why no? He can't know him. He, he, I know. I speak like an Indian. And let's get out of here. I'm going back to my. <laughs> I'm going back to my woods. I'm the ancient old Aztec. I'm the old ancient Aztec. I go back to the woods. Now I go home to my woods. We go here. Go to my woods. Praise God. Praise Jesus.